Hello and welcome to Run Testers, my name is Nick and this is our first run review of the ASICS Gel Nimbus 26. Gel Nimbus 26 is the successor to the Gel Nimbus 25, which was a pretty big update on what we saw with the Gel Nimbus 24. Now the Gel Nimbus 9 is a Mac stack cushion shoe with a softer foam and really geared much more towards easy, relaxed running, whereas Gel Nimbus 24 was aimed at that kind of running as well, but was a lower stack shoe, probably more of a cushion daily trainer was how I would class it. So with the Gel Nimbus 26, you've got a fairly modest update here. The price is the same in the US as the previous version. It's $160, has risen to £180 in the UK though. Weight has gone up a touch. It's 300. 18 grams or 11.2 ounces in my UK size 9. That's just a, a few couple of grams heavier than the Gel Nimbus 25. You've got still got the same 8mm drop, but on ASICS's website it listed as 42mm at the heel and 34 at the forefoot, whereas the Gel Nimbus 25 I think was listed as 41.5mm and then 33.5. So you might have a small rise in the midsole height here. Otherwise, the, the midsole sticks to largely the same setup as the Gel Nimbus 25. You've got this very big stack of FF Blast Plus foam, which with a little bit of pure gel under the heel of the shoe. So there's just a little slither of gel under the heel there which means the gel can stay in the name I guess but mainly it's FF Blast Plus which is a good foam it's the foam that ASICS used across most of its range I'd say it's a quite a balanced foam it's fairly soft and comfortable but has a little bit of bounce to it it's not just a completely squishy foam so it does mean the shoe isn't too unstable to that end ASICS has also given the shoe a very wide base and wide design to create stability and there are some small sidewalls of foam your foot sits in at the back of the shoe there Upper has been tweaked compared to the previous version. You've got an engineered knit upper and a stretchy knit tongue as well, which creates almost a booty style fit, despite the fact it is a gusted tongue rather than a completely booty based design. As you'd expect for a shoe like this, you've got loads of padding around the collar and heel. The tongue itself is fairly padded as well. Not that padded, though, still quite thin. And then you have a new setup for the lace eyelets compared to the Gel Nimbus 25, which had eyelets look like that. You've now got these slightly bigger bands. It means it's a bit easier to crank on them and get a tighter, more secure fit around the midfoot. Also, I think the toe box is slightly less tapered on the new shoe as well, which is another change. But probably the biggest change all round is to the outsole of the shoe, which is now a hybrid outsole with some ASICS grip rubber in there, as well as the AHAR Plus rubber you had on the Gel Nimbus 25. The Gel Nimbus 25 wasn't a shoe that was known to having excellent grip, for sure. I found actually after my first run, which was a little bit slick in the shoe, it, it did start to grip a bit better for me, but at any update in this area is, also, is always welcome. Actually, just to the touch it feels a lot less slick and smooth the uh, rubber on the gel numbers 26 so it should provide a little bit more traction on things like wet pavements in particular So the fit of the Gel Nimbus 26 I found was exactly the same as the fit of the Gel Nimbus 25 for me and it's a good fit in my normal running shoe size. I've got the right amount of room in the toe box. It's fairly roomy but that's exactly what I would want in a cushion shoe like this for just easy general runs. Nice padding at the back of the heel there which holds the foot well without irritating my Achilles at all I found and do notice the slightly more secure fit around the midfoot. Like I didn't have a problem with that in the Gel Nimbus 25 though but it is certainly a comfortable nice locked down fit around the midfoot. So yeah all good in my normal running shoe size with the Gel Nimbus 26. So for my first run in the ASICS Gel Nimbus 26, I did a 50 minute easy run out of the box. It was the day after a race, so it was very much a pure recovery run. And I also went out and did a short mooch wearing the Gel Nimbus 26 on one foot and the Gel Nimbus 25 on the other. Really, what you're getting here is more of the same, I'd say. Like the feel of the shoe is very similar to the ASICS Gel Nimbus 25. It's comfortable for sure. It's not overly squishy. It's a really nice balanced platform, I think. And it runs lighter than its weight because it is quite a smooth shoe. It rolls through quite nicely, I find, when you're running at easy paces. You've got a little bit of sink in and bounce there, but it's not like the big squish of a shoe like the Nike Invincible. It's just a little bit of sink in, a little bit of bounce back. You're not like talking a bouncy shoe here. It's just not a shoe that feels very responsive where you'd want to go out and start running really fast in, but it does give you a little bit back. It means that the foam stays nice and resilient and feels the same throughout runs. So it was only a 50 minute run this time, you know, just over 10K, 11K. And, but by the end of the run, the shoe feels exactly the same. And that's what I always found with the ASICS Gel Nimbus 25. The foam felt great throughout a run. At the end of a run, it was still giving it a little bit of bounce back. It wasn't compressing a lot and starting to lose a bit of its fun. It just felt the same. And that's why I liked it so much as a long run shoe. And that I feel like it's gonna be exactly the same with the ASICS Gel Nimbus 26. Really nice cushioned cruiser little bit of smoothness to the ride without being aggressively rockered or anything like that and just all round balance it's not too squishy but it is soft and comfortable and it's certainly still quite stable as a neutral shoe i've always found i mean i am a neutral runner but i do think stability is not huge for some of the shoes despite the high stack because the foam 
just, it doesn't really collapse on you like some of the very soft foams do. So we talked a little bit about the change to the upper in the fit section, but yeah, didn't really notice that much on the run, if I'm honest. And then the grip, I my first run was in pretty good conditions, I will say. So it is winter here in the UK. Normally the pavements are wet, but that wasn't the case on my first run. You feel a little bit more traction maybe with the grip there, but not really. I think it's just something that will be beneficial for sure as I go through the rest of the winter months. And it is a, certainly a good update to the shoe. But like I say, I didn't actually have a massive problem with the grip on the Gel Nimbus 25. Once I got past that first run where it was a little bit slick, I found that the outsole roughed up a little bit and it was fine for my use on pavements, even wet pavements. The Gel Nimbus 26 will be an improvement in that area and it will be a quality of life improvement for sure. But you know, it's not something that completely changes the feel of the shoe. Early verdict is this is a nice small update on what was a really good shoe last year, the Asics Gel Nimbus 25, a shoe I really warmed to a lot and became one of my favourite long run shoes if I was looking for a max cushioned option, which I'm not always that keen on using, but that was one of the best ones I think because the ride is so nicely balanced, it doesn't feel like a huge and unwieldy shoe on the foot because it's got that rocker and the foam is good blend of comfort and responsiveness. I think getting a lot of the same stuff here with the Asics Gel Nimbus 26 with a little bit of improved grip, which... It's no bad thing, obviously, and maybe a slightly better fit around the midfoot as well, which again, no bad thing. Asics hasn't really gone too ambitious with the updates. They've just refined the shoe a little bit and improved it a little bit. Obviously, just one run, so I do loads more running before comparing it too much to shoes outside the Asics range, but you know, it'll probably end up in a similar boat to the Asics Del Nimbus 25, which I do think is one of the best max cushion shoes out there. I think you can get slightly more versatile, big cushion shoes, things like the Saucony Triumph line, or now the Saucony Ride 17, because it is so similar to the Triumph. Even the Puma Magnify Nitro, I find a slightly more versatile max cushion shoe. And if you want a much softer ride, you can get that as well through things like the Nike Invincible or the New Balance 1080 V13. But I do think the Gel Nimbus provides a very good balanced ride that a lot of runners will enjoy, either if you're a newer runner or you just want an all-rounder that's very well cushioned. I think the Gel Nimbus does a solid job of that. And then if you are someone with a running shoe rotation, it's very much the easy day shoe in it. Like there's not really a lot of responsiveness here. It's not a shoe I'm going to be desperate to pick up the pace in, but as a cushioned cruiser, it does a good job. I think the Gel Nimbus 26 is going to keep on doing that good job with slightly better grip. The only real downside to the new update is the price has gone up in the UK and the price is really, really high. And I think for me, when looking at a cushion shoe like this, I wouldn't really be going out and spending like 180 pounds or even 160 dollars on a shoe. It's kind of shoe where I'd wait for a discount on it basically. And actually now with the new shoe coming out, you probably get more discounts on the Essex Gel Nimbus 25, which did drop quite low over the Black Friday period. So certainly my first impressions of the new shoe would be that I'd be happy trying to find a discount on the older shoe. We'll talk more about that in the full review. But yeah, the updates here are nice, but I don't think they're necessarily essential. Like I said, I didn't have huge problems with the grip of the Gel Nimbus 25 myself. So while it's going to be an improved shoe, there'll certainly be a case of trying to snag a deal on the older one uh, based on that first run I've done in it so far. Okie dokie, that's our first look at the Asics Gel Nimbus 26. Dive into the comments, let us know what you think of this shoe. Please do like and subscribe, ring the little bell, and we'll see you next time.